so in our first uh, segment we started painting this canvas okay and uh, well I call it a canvas it's actually just a picture and I uh, just want to show you what this process is like a little bit you know show you it's not all just fun and games it actually takes some technique Hopefully you can see that from a good range there okay this part is more technical and less uh, less about playing so this is I guess more for artists at this point or people who are interested in uh, how an artist creates their work okay so I hope I don't bore you half to death <laughs> to me it's real cool and fun though you know And by the way, this is just, I mean, obviously a base. So the spray paint back is the base that I usually love to use. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with spray paint, but it uh, probably is just the most fun medium I can use. So I like to go where the fun is at, you know? <laughs> by the way, I uh, listened to the other video of this. I have noticed that I have a pretty hysterical laugh. I didn't know that before. You know, when you hear yourself on, on, on this type of stuff, you have uh, no idea how you get this sound. It's pretty hilarious. So, I'm not going to change my laugh for any reason, but I thought it was hilarious. We're going to share with that with you so you can laugh. Hopefully it's as unique as mine. <laughs> See, I'm so obsessed with unique and everything. It's probably because there's some artists. That's the whole psychological reason behind it. Right, Freud? Actually, like Young a lot more than Freud. Everyone who knows me knows that. Young studied with Maharishi. Uh, Maharishi uh, helped the Beatles with a few of their albums just by working with them on their consciousness. This is all stuff that's typical of an artist to be into, but I don't feel like it's that typical at all, you know? I feel like it's just real interesting and neat. Uh, I think everything's connected in some way or another, you know? So, um, you know, to me, I mean, this is going to go through a couple more layering pieces, like I'm going to have to get drips in here, you know, some random spots, just to give the painting character, to be honest with you, and uh, kind of say that this is a, a different state of consciousness altogether, you know, that's what these paintings are to me. They're like my uh, mind being spattered across this canvas here. And it feels good to do that. I don't know how to explain that better, but it feels great to be able to throw my mind onto something that doesn't uh, have to stay in my head, you know? It's really fun. Really fun. It's a great outlet. It's almost like hiking, you know? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> more like living. I don't know where I would be if I couldn't express myself. Just to do this on walls and on trains. And, uh, it's a real pleasure. It's a real pleasure to be able to have this in galleries and stuff now the way it is. It's really cool, man. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but that's probably the coolest thing in the world to me. Yeah. And even that my friends are loving it too, that's neat. And my family. It's awesome. My girl loves my shit, you know? That feels awesome. Anyway, enough about that. As I wander off into space, right? You hear that? <laughs> Dropping cans all over the place. This is like a documentary and a half, right? I think I'm boring you, right? So, hopefully I'm not, but. There's a, uh, there's a chance. Okay. Alright, so we're going to sign off, guys. Just to give you a last glimpse of what I just did. Um, again, it's another state of consciousness for now. And this is going to evolve even further. Like, uh, 
totally evolve. You'll see what it turns into. I mean, there'll be characters in there and whatnot. Um, okay, so signing off. Bye.